looking good? Welcome to my WitJoy wedding website tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to create a website using WitJoy and I will also be showing you how to create a wedding registry and so much more using the WitJoy website. Now to get started, once you're on WitJoy.com, you're going to tap on Get Started. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page on which you can sign up using your email address. Once you're signed up, you'll be redirected to this page and from here, you can enter in your first name, then you can enter in your partner's first name. After you have done that, you're going to select the wedding date or you can tap on we haven't picked a date as yet. Then you're going to tap on next. Let me enter in a location real quick. So let me do that. Then you're going to tap on let's go. Then you can see lastly what brings you here. You can either select wedding website, registry, or you can select all four as you can see here. Then you're going to tap on let's go. Once you have tapped on let's go, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, if it is a case that you would like to start creating your wedding website, you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option. You could tap on design below website. After you have tapped on design, you'll be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, I want you to pay attention to the left hand corner. From here, you can select the template that you would like to use. So you can scroll down and you can see that there are numerous templates that you can choose from, which will make it easy to create a stunning looking wedding website. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates to your liking. Let's say for example, this one. After you have selected the template, all you'll need to do now, we're going to simply scroll back up. Then you're going to tap on details. After tapping on details, you can choose to either use single page or multiple page. So you can select it right here. So if you like a single page, it will be a one page website. And you can see the menu option will be a drop down menu option from the left hand corner. Or if you would like to use a multiple page, you can see how it will look and you will be provided with a navigation bar at the top right here. I'm going to be using the single page as I think this looks cleaner. Then you can choose the accent color. So you can select your accent color by tapping on the color box right there. Or you can choose to use art as your background. You can select any one. Then you can scroll down and you can see the different art that you could choose from. Once you have selected the font style, you're going to tap on the home icon in the top left hand corner. Once you have done that, you're going to select edit pages below website. Then from there, you can select home. After you have selected home, you'll be able to edit the home page of your new wedding website. So you can edit the event name. You can also choose to show the date right here. So you could toggle this on and you could show the date that you're planning to keep your wedding. So you can tap on edit date right here and you could choose the date. But since we had chosen not yet, we don't have that option. You can also add the location. You could also edit the greetings. And by scrolling down, you could add an announcement bar if you want by toggle on announcement bar. And a beautiful thing that I like about their website is if you have chosen the date that you would like to keep your wedding, you could toggle on event countdown. And from here, you'll be able to display an event countdown on your website showing when or how near your website, your wedding is better yet. After you have done that, you'll simply tap on save. Now, after you have done that, you're going to tap on the home icon to go back to the dashboard. Once on your dashboard page, you're going to tap on edit pages once more and you could tap on video. After tapping on video from here, you could upload an invitation video or you could select a video from YouTube or Vimeo or you could paste in your video link right there. After you have done that, you will tap on save. Then we are going to tap on the home icon once more in the top left hand corner. And from here, you can tap on edit pages and you can continue editing the different pages. What I'm going to do is tap on registry. After you have selected registry, you will be redirected to this page. 
Once you have been redirected to this page, what I want you to do is you are going to tap on Manage Registry in the bottom left hand corner. After selecting Manage Registry, you will now be able to set up your registry. So you can see the different recommendations. We are going to tap on Sounds Good. Then from there, you can see they will be offering free shipping and so on. Or if you are not interested in physical gifts, you can tap on Not Interested. We are going to tap on Turn On Recommendation. You can also turn on cash funds. So you can see that right there. You can turn on recommendations for, for vacation plans. Or the, you can turn on recommendations for honeymoon plans. You can turn on recommendation for universal registry. As you can see right there. Then you will see the option what are you interested in. And you can select travel experiences, any one of these options that best describes you and your partner. You can select it as you can see right here. Then you will scroll down and you will tap on selected interests. Then from here you can see registry now or save later. So I'll tap on love it. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page and you can see that's it. We'll use this to help you find gifts you love starting now. Then from there, you can select any one of these items that you would like to also add to your registry. By simply hovering over the item, you can tap on Add Registry. Then you'll be prompted to add the shipping address that you would like it to be delivered to. And you can also choose whether the product that you have added, you like it to be your most wanted. You can tap on that right there. Once you're finished, you will simply close the page and you'll be redirected to the main registry page. From here, you could choose to preview it by tapping on preview in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to preview your current registry. You can also choose to share it by tapping on share. You'll be able to copy the link and you can scroll down and you can select different items that you would like to add. Once we're finished doing that, you're going to go back so we can tap right here on the three dashes and we're going to simply tap on event dashboard. Once you have tapped on event dashboard, you can scroll down and you can see the registry dashboard right here. So you'll be able to get an overview. You can manage it. So if you like to remove an item or add an item to your registry, you can do that. You can also scroll down and from here you could create digital invitation cards. So you can see that right there. And you'll be able to send them out via email so you can send out your RSVP digitally and you'll be able to get a notification whenever they have received it. You can also add your gifts, your gift list better yet right here if you want and you can manage your RSVP. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.